Well, greetings, everyone. It's been a while since I've uh, made a video. Actually, it was before Christmas. And I uh, had a heck of a time trying to find my tripod. I use it at Christmas time with our family photographs, but I finally dug it out. I got the garage cleaned up. I'm getting ready to start on some little bird houses again. Spring is just around the corner with my Craig jig. Uh, pocket hole jig that I purchased. There is a uh, some downloadables to those that purchased their products. So I got me a, a bird feeder. I'm gonna make a couple of those and put them out in a tree. But today, after getting the floor all cleaned up, I had a problem with my vise, and I've been watching Wrangle Star. I think this is similar to the same type of vise that he used. But you know when you loosen this up, it's supposed to turn real free. It wasn't, so I, I put some uh, oil on it. But I noticed that once I clamp it back up, when I tightened it, it would it would still rotate, and it wasn't pivoting around the center axle. It was actually pivoting around the uh, screw over here on the side that was. Uh, being tightened so it would kind of rock on an axis even to the side of the vise. So I took it apart, and what I found was the bolt wasn't wore out. It had a bushing that goes around the bolt, and it was wore out. So with with this, uh, it just like an axle, the axle and the bearings. It was just wallered out so I didn't have a new bushing but I took another 560 or I don't know what size bolt it was but I just found the largest nut that I had and drilled the threads out of it to where the, the center bolt of this vise would go through it and then I took uh, with a pair of pliers over to my sander and sanded off all the, sh the corners of the nut to where it would just fit down in the hole and I left it probably a sixteenth of an inch standing proud so that way I could tighten the nut the bolt underneath it and uh, but yet it would uh, be free enough to rotate so I fixed that and then I noticed when I had it apart when you slide this vise around there are some preset locations so I found uh, a 5 16 inch bolt, and normally 90% of the time I'm right here because straight down I can put long pieces that will come down past the front face of the workbench and put this, uh, I'll just put this 5 16 inch bolt in here and just snug it up. So that way it when you're working and twisting on this, you're not actually putting any uh, stress on that bushing on the axle portion. I don't really have to over tighten it. I think that'll work out just fine for me. So I'm happy. I got that working. Some of you may notice in the past I've had radios running. I am a ham radio operator. So I'm going through now. I just bought me a new uh, trickle charger. So I'm playing with that and charging up all my lead acid batteries. So that I'll be ready when springtime comes and start going up the river and setting up some shortwave radio stations up on the sandbar. So when we're camping out, we can talk around the world on that. So that's about it. Uh, let me take you over to my table saw. Kind of using it as a workbench because I'm building a sled for it. I want to build a tapering jig. It's kind of a process. I'm not sure if it'll be permanent but I think it's going to work for what I need it for. So let's go take a look at it, and then we'll call it a day. Over here on this uh, table saw, I'm building a, uh, can be a, a cross-cut sled, but I'm going to be drilling some holes in here and putting some clamps that I got from Harbor Freight so that I can also do some tapered cutting and also maybe to uh, cut some rough-cut lumber to put a straight edge on it prior to planing and joining and planing. So that's about it.
I put a an oak uh, runner under it that fits in my slot. I glued it first and then drilled four holes and then put some small brass screws in it, countersunk it so that they would slide easy on the table. And now I'm in the process of uh, getting this glued down. And once the glue's uh, settled in on it, I'll turn it over and put some screws in it. But that's all we got going today. Hey, I recently want to thank all of the new subscribers that are coming on. Uh, I never thought in the world that I'd have over 400 subscribers. Uh, one thing about the woodworking community, they, they uh, are pretty curious folk. And I'm by no means any expert at it, but I sure do have a heart for woodworking. And, and really, as I watch your all's, videos I feel like we're all kind of in a fraternity and some of the times and most of the times uh, when I see y'all out in the shop making something it gives me an idea to get off my butt and get out here and make something so anyway I hope everyone has a happy new year and we'll see you in a future episode